Welcome back Netrunners, once again my name is John and this is video 3 in my series covering the recent Cyberpunk 2077 ARG hosted by Samsung known as QLED Code. In this video we'll be covering all the clues released on November 5th and 6th. First I need to give a shout out to some of my friends on Discord for their help in the production of this video. So big thank you to Komodomo, Pepperoni, who was one of the five finalists and is better known by his real name, Jimmy Lasondek, and Sounds of the Time, who was the winner of the ARG and is better known as Flynn Weeks. In this video, we'll be using the following tools and websites, Twitch, Instagram, Audacity, Notepad++, OBS, a binary to ASCII converter, a hexadecimal to ASCII converter, a Base64 encoder and decoder, a Base32 encoder, and a handful of ciphers, including the Visionaire cipher, a Fine cipher, Rot cipher, Atvash cipher, and an ASCII shift cipher. Okay, when we left off, it was November 4th, and seven URLs had been found, which means seven people had made it into the semifinals. And eight URLs are still up for grabs. Another Twitch stream will be scheduled for November 5th at 12 p.m. Fast forward to the 5th. At 12 p.m., the stream is rescheduled for 3 p.m. Fast forward to 3, and we get a stream that looks like this. Now this is an 11 second loop, and it will play for the next 3 hours. And to explain what's going on here, we'll need to step back 24 hours to the 4th. Back on the 4th, following the end of the first live stream, a number of people decided to investigate the URLs that have been found that day. If you were to look up the Whois information for any of the given sites, I'll demonstrate using the Don't Get Stranded Nomad.com site. We find that it was registered on October 21st. If you look up the other sites, you'll find that they're all registered on either the same day or very close to the same day. These people then decided to use that information to look for the other eight URLs. If we go to all the com dot info, you can download daily URL registration lists for the past month. If you download the list from 1022 and open it in Notepad++, it'll look something like this. If we go back to that Twitch stream and compare side by side, you may notice that these URLs, although very blurry and hard to read, will match up with the first 16 lines here. For example, this first one is 0 60 timez.com. You see that this is line one. The numbers are a little bit easier to read than the actual URLs. Down here is 16. We get whatever this is supposed to be. So what happened is a number of people went through this file. Now mind you, this file contains 156,000 URLs. But if you search for keywords from the Cyberpunk 2077 game, you might be able to find some of them. For example, if we searched for Street Kid, we would find one result. We found a URL. What happens when a street kid grows up? And that is one of the eight URLs that will be used in the next live stream. Not only did people go out and find these ahead of time, they also bragged about it on the internet. And then someone decided to tell the devs about that. And that's why we got the stream that we got. This stream. Before we move on though, I should say that there was one thing of significance that would happen during this live stream. Someone in Twitch chat, I don't remember what their name was, but they suggested the stream we got, and the reason for the delays was due to the fact that the entire alternate reality game is being run by one intern named Kevin. And the name Kevin would stick around and become a running joke within the community. If we fast forward to 8.48 p.m. and head to Instagram, we'll get our fourth Instagram story. Looks like um, this. Okay, Netrunners, remember I told you there were 15 URLs to find. Seven have been claimed. Infiltrators have forced adjustments on the rest. Coming at you tomorrow. To the victor go, this boy will stay vigilant. Basically, the developers didn't like that the eight URLs had been found before the Twitch stream even started, so they decided to rework the puzzle to make for a level playing field. Moving forward to November 6th, at approximately 11.45 a.m., a third Twitch stream will be scheduled, this one for 3 p.m. on the same day. 
at 3 p.m. that stream would start with the title eight slots remaining stay vigilant at approximately 5.17 p.m. the title will change to one slot remaining stay vigilant and at 5.24 p.m. we get our last story on Instagram it looked like this head to twitch and keep your eyes peeled the clues will lead you to a chance to win and then it just links the Twitch channel. However, it seems that Instagram story went up just a little too late because by 5.24 p.m. all eight URLs had already been claimed. So let's look at how to get each of those URLs. All right, now the second live stream looked a lot like the first one, just that there were different clues hidden in the video. The first clue we'll look at shows up in the timestamp. Every time it rolls over to another minute, a clue will briefly appear. All right, so right there it is. So it's 2381. The 23rd letter of the alphabet is W. The eighth is H, and the first is A. I'm not gonna go through every minute of the video to get the rest of the letters. But if you were to do that, you'd end up with what happens when a street kid grows up at a.com, and that is the first URL. And it is also one of the URLs that was leaked. As we'll see, the video is unchanged, and all the original URLs are still hidden in the clues. The true difference will appear when we visit the sites that these URLs take us to, but we'll do that later. For now, we'll cover all eight of the URLs as they were originally intended to be found. All right, for our next URL, we'll need to look at these little glowing boxes. This one says night. This one says away. Now watch this box real closely. Right there is the word brain. Now watch this box closely. Right there, it says the word the. It's pretty hard to see, but it's there. Now there's one more word we need to complete this URL, and that's the word dance. To get the full URL of brain dance the night away, and I cannot for the life of me find it in this video. If I had to guess, it would appear on this little screen here, but I couldn't find it. It could be that you were supposed to use your knowledge of the lore of Cyberpunk 2077 and figured out that Brain was a reference to Brain Dance. I'm not quite sure. Moving on to our next clue, we'll notice that there is some hex written right here. And as you see, there's some more hex that is currently fading in. This would happen periodically throughout the video. So you wait for that to fade in, you pause it, and then you want to type all that hex into a hex to ASCII converter. Alright, so we'll paste that in a hex to ASCII converter, and we get tour guides aren't cheap in Night City. Add a .com, and there's your URL. Alright, and then our next clue will show up on the screen in just a moment. All right, so here we have a bunch of green text on the screen, but it's pretty hard to read. We'll fast forward a bit towards the end of this sequence. All right, now there's a lot of text on the screen. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is look for lowercase letters. If you look up here, you can find the word peace. If you look over here you can find the word keeping. Right here is the word Militech. Down here is the word with. You rearrange that and you get peacekeeping with Militech. Add a .com and that's your URL. Alright, now for our next clue. We get this kind of acid trip looking thing that happens on the screen. See if I can pause it at just the right moment near the end. And we got it paused. Now this is pretty hard to read, but it says the greatest deals at Pacifica. Added.com and that's your next URL. All right, next clue should show up in just a second. So the screen goes green and kind of glitches out a little bit.
the screen again. Okay, so very briefly this text appears on the screen. Now it's only up for about a frame or so, so if you weren't recording the live stream, there's no way you would have been able to get this. And now this is cipher text, and it's a simple cipher, it's just a shift. So if you copy that text down. All right, so we'll paste that into an ASCII shift decoder. Pick try all possible shifts and use all ASCII characters, all, all printable ASCII characters. Hit decrypt, and it finds that the shift was plus 111. And there are some ones that appear in this string. That's just because we left these spaces in. They're not part of the actual URL. So the URL reads honor never dies just like Saburo. And Saburo would be the founder of the Arasaka Corporation in the game. So if you add a .com to honor never dies just like Saburo, you get the next URL. All right, so we have two URLs left to find, and unfortunately, I'm not 100% sure on how to find them. The two URLs remaining are I'm out late at 4 a.m. once again, dot com, and Trauma Teams Hippocratic Oath, dot com. As for the I'm out late at 4 a.m. once again, dot com, I believe that comes from audio. So at various points in the video, you'll hear some groaning noises in the background. It sounds like this. Now if we speed that up, let's do three times speed. And if we listen to it now, we can kind of make out some words. So I personally don't hear the full URL in that. I'll put what I'm hearing on the screen. I know this is probably isn't correct, but this is what I hear. So, like I said, I believe this audio is supposed to lead you to that URL, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And as for our last URL, Trauma Team's Hippocratic Oath, I have no idea how to get that one. So Kevin, if you're watching this video, message me. Or anyone else, if you know how to solve this, just let me know and I'll put it in the next video. Now, if we visit one of those sites, you'll get a page that looks like this, where it says, No Firmware Here Netrunner. And this looks like it's a dead end. But if we inspect the page, look for the file ssgmanifest.js, copy link address, go to that page, and you can find 13 other pages on the site. Now it doesn't matter which one of the URLs you go to, if you look at the underscore ssgmanifest.js file, you'll find this in all of them. And if you visit each of these, you'll find tons of references and inside jokes to the discord channel r slash arg basically just showing that the devs were lurking in the discord during the competition and were aware of everything we were doing now only one of these pages actually matters and that's the notes slash under observation page so let's go there now this page contains a list of basically every user that was on the r slash arg discord server during the competition most of the names also have symbols in front of them like this or something like that. Uh, some of the names are spelled incorrectly. For example, if you look for me, you'll find John but without an H. There were no other Johns on the server, so I can only assume that's me. And if we scroll to the very bottom, we find a little bit of text. We have a reference to the bot that was in the Discord channel. And then this line would be reference to me because every time the bot would post something in the channel, I'd always respond with hello bot. We have a note saying to use a calcache method. And then note further info needed marked. Identify Netrunner candidates. 
log and monitor activity, difficulty must be scaled, a reference to the YouTube channel description, and at the very bottom we also have a reference to the three hour stream that was just a scrolling domain name list. Now let's go back to the top of the file. If we inspect the page, at the very top we find our first clue right here. We says try visioneer k equals first and there's a symbol. If we expand this we'll find another clue rot 77 and base 64. So let's look at this symbol right here, the at sign and exclamation point. If we search for that, we find it appears once next to a username rabbit. So what we're going to want to do is take the username rabbit and run it through a visionaire cipher with the keyword of first rabbit first encrypt. And we get wist1m. Copy that back over here, head over to the console. Now if we use the calc cache function that was referenced in the notes at the bottom, with the result from the visionaire cipher, we get a domain name, 008899books.com. If we were to visit that, you get one of these pages. And again, this is after the competition, so of course it's already been claimed. Back to the page source. Our second clue is ROT77 and Base64. We have this, a less than symbol, vertical bar, and a greater than symbol. So we search for that. We find one user, Lay Mooney. We'll take that name and run it through a ROT77 cipher. So now we take the username Lay Mooney paste it in here, set the rotation to 77, select 94 printable ASCII characters as the alphabet, hit encrypt, we get this text. Now for the second step, base 64, base 64 encode that, we get this string, copy that, back to under observation page, Console, Calcache, and you get another URL, waterlifebrand.com. All right, back on under observation at HTML, we know that the keys are all usernames and that the ciphers to use in them are all hidden in the source code. If you look through the rest of under observation at HTML, you won't find any more though. So you should look through the other files of this page. So over to sources, look at the JavaScript. Let's look at underscore app.js. Pretty print the file. Now these files are pretty long, so you'd most likely want to be copying symbols out of the page and then searching for them in the text. Now in this file, we'll be able to find the symbol for judgmental monk. Copy that. Search for that symbol. It'll show up on this line here. And it says base 32 before base 64. So we'll have to base 32 encode his name and then base 64 encode it. So if we base 32 encode judgmental monk, we get this string. And if we take that and run it through a base 64 decoder, or base 64 encoder, we get this string. And if we run that through calcat. get soupcapybara.com. Alright, now we won't find any more clues in underscore app.js, so let's look at some of the other files. We go to under observation.js, pretty print the file, and we'll be able to find most of the rest in this file. We'll actually be able to find uh, duplicate clues for the two that we found in the under observation HTML page. For example, if we were to look for the ampersand exclamation point. We can find the code that created the clues in the HTML. So this was the clue for rabbit and this was the clue for Lemuni. Going further, if we search for 
less than, carrot, greater than. We can find another clue. It says visionaire with key molding. And if we search for that in the page, we find that it goes with username Umberman. So we'll run Umberman through a visionaire cipher with a key of molding. Encrypt. We get this. If we take that string and run that through Calcache, we get 4dchessinsider.com. Back to underobservation.js. The next symbol we can find is a tilde followed by a left parenthesis. And if we looked for that in the HTML page, we'd find that goes with username Komodomo. So what we'll need to do is convert Komodomo to hexadecimal, delimitate each byte with a zero and an X, and then use a BTOA function. And BTOA is just a base 64 encoder. So we'll copy Komodomo, convert Komodomo to hex. We get this string. Copy that. Go to a base 64 encoder. Delimitate each one of these with a 0 and an X. Hit encode. get this long string, copy that, back to the console, plug that into the Calcache function, and you get networkinternationalunlimited.com. All right, back to underobservation.js. There is one more that we can find in this file. Left parenthesis, caret, right parenthesis right here and just says at bash that's an at bash cipher so if we search the file for left parenthesis caret right parenthesis we find one username Rican Samurai copy that we'll paste the name there hit encrypt and we get this string copy that back to the console Calcache again and we get fourbrosgameshop.com All right, back to the source code. The last two clues will be found in this file, which starts with 0FA38. Apparently this file changes names, because when I took notes for this video, the file started with EA6C42. So let's pretty print the file. Now if we search for dollar sign caret, we'll find ROT47 and base 64 and that is the symbol that lines up with the C Maiden. So we'll copy the C Maiden. We'll rot 47. Encrypt that with all 94 printable ASCII characters. And we get this string. We'll copy that and run it through a base 64 encoder. And we get this string. Back to the console. Calcache. And we get, I'm not going to try to pronounce this, but that's a URL ending with .com. Back to the source in the same file. If we search for percent, percent, we find a fine, A equals 20, B 77, and then meta and this is the description from the YouTube video. And this also tells us how to solve the YouTube description. So if we look for a user with 2% signs next to their name, we find MDHX. So we take MDHX, and then if we plug in MDHX into an affine cipher with A20 and B77, hit encrypt, and we get FHJR, copy that. You'll note we also get a message saying the substitution is not unique because once again, A20 is not co-prime with 26. We talked about that in the last video, so we're not going to cover it again. We go back to the console. 
Hell Cash. We get Jack Frank's Hot Dogs NYC.com. And that is the last URL. Now, there was one other way you could have got these eight URLs. Back in the source file where we just found the last two, if you searched for Kelcash, you'll find the function here. If you look right above it, you will find all of the input strings we just used, one after the other in a line here. Further, if you didn't want to plug those in, you could just look off to the right side of them. For example, if we pick this one, the very first URL we looked at was 00899books.com. Well, here's 008, here's 899, and then the B from books, and here's the rest of the word books. Now, this is not an oversight on the part of the developers. I have been told that the original plan was to pad this function out with several thousand hashes and URLs. However, the developers ran out of time and couldn't delay the contest any further. Okay, so that's every puzzle solved in the Cyberpunk 2077 QLED code ARG, with the exception of the finals. Now we have a few options moving forward. I could cover the finals. Samsung already live streamed the entire thing, and it's available for watching online for free. So if you watch that, you'll see how to solve every puzzle. Uh, I could cover it, but I'm pretty sure Samsung stream is more interesting to watch than whatever I'd come up with. But there is one other thing I could cover. For those of you who don't know, there was a significant amount of game jacking and hacking that took place during this competition. I alluded to a small amount of it in this video, but there is so much more. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you want me to cover the finals? Do you want to learn more about the game jacking and hacking? And what was your favorite puzzle in the Cyberpunk 2077 QLED code ARG? Until next time.